Good afternoon. I could not make any single video for two months after dealing with internet problems. Today's video is about infidelity. That kind of shit affects me very deeply. I mean, each person still suffers the infidelity in relationships. Could be your husband or a wife. You know, it's something suspicious they've been doing without even calling you. It means that something is wrong. And you know what that means. One word, and it starts with a C. Cheating. That, that you might discover any kind of suspicious infidelity in your relationships or marriage. I mean, during a marriage, that could be worse. Marriages suffers more infidelity than relationships. Even relationships still go through the exact infidelity, just like marriage. But even though I used to have friends that suffer infidelity, it was a bit of a shock. It's a long story, but you already get the idea. But even if you were still with the exact person that does a lot of infidelity in your relationship or marriage, you need to get out of there. If that person does not ever love you ever since the day you guys met you're being naive if you think that person still loves you but you know that person does not get the hell out of that you do not need to be stuck or obligate that person to even love you just because that person does not have the same feelings for you if you know that's true leave that person be don't be so fucking naive about the person that does not even love you let it be if you wanna if you wanna be hurt again and again you're really being naive to your own fucking reality that you're not even in if you wanna be hurt that's your fucking problem but you know, if you if you want someone to get you out of that relationship, that you're still being a painful infidelity, that you're not gonna have help if you're not gonna help yourself to get out of that painful infidelity that you went through. What's it gonna be? You you either let the person leave out of your life. If that person does not love you, or you can still be in the same misery to suffer for the rest of your fucking life if that person does not love you. Which is it? So you either let that person be. If that person does not love you, let it be. And find someone else that will treat you right. Because that person that never loves you, that does not deserve you. Someone else may be looking for you and wants to treat you better and happier the way you were looking for. I'm not, I am not saying this to make fun of you. I'm not saying this to nothing like that. I'm saying this to wake, for you to wake the fuck up from the infidelity that you're living in with the exact person that never loves you. Let that person be. If that person never loves you, that person is not worth of your tears. Let it be. Find someone else that's loyal and truthful in your life. Don't be stuck in the infidelity, because even though if you are, you're fucking naive. Do not be naive. Find someone else that treats you right.
I'm not saying this to make fun of any of you. I'm saying this to wake to wake yourselves up and find someone that's true to you. And that person that still does the infidelity in your life, that person can go fuck themselves. And that's the truth. I do not go any infidelity in relationships. Four years ago, I was in a relationship. And yes, that woman that I fell in love with broke in my heart. And I, she was not worth of my fucking tears, so I let her be. And what I do, yeah, I got her out of my fucking life, and that's it. I mean, I'm not even crying for her for no damn reason ever again. She's not worth it. So, all I can say to her, fuck her. Get out of my life. So, that's how infidelity is. Never let that person be stuck in your mind. If that person never loves you, don't keep that person in your mind. Keep that person in the damn garbage where it came from. Because that person never deserves you for the infidelity that that person has been doing behind your back. Find someone else that will be true to you. I'm telling you this to get your way out of the infidelity that you've been stuck. Do you get what I'm saying to you? You better let. That's all I have to say for now. Have a good afternoon.